Welcome back into my office. Brian here with you. And we're going to now take a brief look at this small stack of Cocorico periodicals published in France back in the year 1900, so right at the turn of the 19th and 20th century. Uh, what I'll do now is show each issue uh, all uh, front and back um, and uh, these are all available on our website and you can find them by this number here B918 is the first one it has this wonderful cover here by Keenerk and we see there's a masthead on each issue this was a bi-monthly so it came out every two weeks uh, and this masthead is by Alfonso Muka. And so now let's do a look at that. Wow. And that's a Steinlin. These are color lithographs. Uh, and the Art Nouveau aesthetic that runs uh, throughout uh, the, this periodical is the epitome of this style at this time. This sort of fantastical, yeah, that's a Robile. Uh, famous illustrator for Jugend, as well as other periodicals and poster art and so on. That's a Jules Charest. Uh, and that's the first issue. And here's the next issue, which appears at first glance to be a blank cover, but actually uh, it is an embossed Art Nouveau profile of a woman's head that is very subtly done. It's, uh, I wonder if you can see it, yes, look at this. Yes, you can actually see the embossing slightly and look at this great lithographed adver advertisement here that precedes the cover. Look at that ruby uh, lithographed title page here. Again, a MUCA masthead and I'll flip through it like this. It's worth noting that the condition of these is exceptional, very clean, almost newsstand fresh, they uh, are uh, preserved in a manner that's not common for paper periodical items like this of this era. Uh, that's B19. Uh, the only trivial flaw are these itsy bitsy little pinholes here, stitch marks of having once been, uh, after they were uh, issued, bound into a, period, uh, into a volume, uh, and they're now uh, loose issues and absolutely fresh and clean. Another lithograph there by Rubile. And look at that, that's, yeah. Cossard here is a great uh, Art Nouveau illustrator of uh, nature and foliage. He did several covers for this periodical. Okay. And, okay, that's a great, that's a famous cover there actually. That was actually made into a postcard. Uh, I think a lot of these covers were made into postcards, which today are quite rare, like all uh, printed ephemeral items uh, of this time era, including this periodical. These are uh, uncommon for sure. There's a Cossard uh, illustration there. You see his style. It's very distinctive. Uh, and, okay. wow, look at that. Yeah, that's a typical dramatic... Uh, yeah, there's a certain aesthetic that permeates uh, this periodical in this era. Okay, this is B924. Yeah, Arthur Michael, again, poster art style, wonderful. Yeah, there is a MUCA uh, poster that you could have purchased for six francs. And there's a great ad for the magazine itself, Cocorico. Yeah, look at that. I think that's the artist, I believe, is Caron Dache. And here's a Steinlin, Roosters, and book plate there. Yeah. Nice linearity here. Yeah, there's a study. Okay. Yeah. And yeah, these are like posters. Any of these, these covers, any of them could be framed for display. It's just, it's almost like buying it right off the newsstand. Look at that, that's a Caron Dache uh, cover. And here is the, I think this is a, this could well be a Mucha. No, it's a Besnard. That's very nice. Oh, yes, there it is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Wow, look at that. That's so acidic. 
Yes, it's all this. Yeah, it's quite a, yeah, it's really interesting the mindset that uh, is visible at this time, uh, historically. Uh, it's very um, critical of society and governments and people and so on. Okay, you've now seen this group. We uh, will also have posted these Cocoricos as a separate video, and each of these uh, can be found by the number you see on them, and they are all uh, also uh, on our website. And so uh, any of these are at this moment currently available uh, online uh, from me, Brian DeMambro.